Yeah, you can't give up now, Mark. I I can't. I, I'm pissed now. I don't know where to go. I'm I'm confused. You got it. Don't worry. We're starting from where it where it failed. Don't worry. You got this. Okay. You can't. That's not disappearing stain. Could it be the disappearing stain? Oh. First of all, we know where Chikiro was headed. Yes, we do. He was on his way to go exercise. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask. Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? Uh huh. I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing! Oh, mm. So, what you're saying is the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? He My tracksuit is black! I, I don't even have a tracksuit! Cause exercising sucks! I have a white tracksuit personally. I, I have a white tracksuit personally. You must know. Did any of that really help us get him I'm so pit. Like, there's so many roots this could go in my head because I don't make anything of it. You already picked a couple. Just try to it will not use those again. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? I got it! Imagine if the whole episode because is because this. <laughs> it matched the one the culprit was wearing! Matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My yeah. tracksuit is black! Okay, yeah, your tracksuit's black. Let's see. Let, let's let's shoot this white one. Sucks. This white tracksuit. I, track I don't know. Nope. I'm just guessing now. Shoot! Shoot! First of all, we know where you feel. Celeste the cow. He was on his way to go exercise. He was on his way to go. He was. So next we have yes. Asked, why did he choose this specific Why did he choose it? That he did? I don't know. What do you mean the specific tracksuit? Yeah, what do you mean? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because Cause. it matched the one the culprit was wearing. Yes. Sure. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? That one? No! <laughs> God damn I didn't want to shoot that one! No, I wasted one! Well, what the hell are you doing talking about, you little bitch? <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot that one because I don't know. I'm a genius! Let's go! I was stressing for like the past 10 minutes, <laughs> man. Let's go, oh, but Jesus Christ. What did you just I know say? I shot was... it. I shot it, but I don't... I don't know. You think you shot it with something else, that's why. Well, no, I shot it, but like, I don't know why it's right. I, I'm oh, still okay. confused over here. Oh, you, you're about to just be playing. Hold on a second, Mano. what are you say? What'd I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then I assumed he headed off to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? Oh my god. Who are you? You just... Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? Oh. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it was blue. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? Nope. The only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Oh, because I, I just. Oh. Kind of weird. I don't know. I was. I really wasn't expecting this. No, we never saw the clothes. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died. Oh. That's the only possibility. Cherry? Are, are you talking about your hero? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? 
just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. Oh no, he's flustered. Mondo, I I couldn't believe it. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. Yeah? No. That can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony. Stuffed, uh, she stuffed the tracksuit into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. And when Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. He's gonna meet with fucking Mondo. <laughs> it would appear you've dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Oh. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Oh. Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. However... What is this big brain? Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. What? But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. The way he was acting? Oh, okay. There was okay. a certain turning point that ticked me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. Oh, what the fuck? You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happen to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Oh my god. Notice such a tiny detail? I was that really said earlier? Are you a witch? Yep. She's a witch. Oh my god. So when uh when he was mourning over Chihiro said like dude was a uh, dude didn't deserve it. Oh my girl. god, you're right. No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Marv, you need to that's what Denkenrump was about. You need to remember the smallest details because that could legit turn the tide of like... I never took note about how he referred to men and women. Mondo? Yeah, stuff like that. Really That's like you? every character you need to understand like, things. So now imagine how hard it is in the other games. Oh, I'm gonna die in the other games too. Did I can't, you really but The stories are just as good Chihiro? though. I bet. This is... Oh my god. I... 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 Uh... Oh, oh. I didn't kill anyone! Oh, here we go. Where's, where's the rhythm game? You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. I don't know. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that. No, this don't do it. This is a false it. accusation. Taka. It's true. The brother, my man, the brother. That is pretty shaky. <laughs> that was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> my time has nearly come. Ifumi? That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Ifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Really? What kind of evidence? You're so happy. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly. Not be all that relevant. Well, you might as well. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. If you really insist, then. Um. Here it is. Hmm? What do you have there? It happens to be an e handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. I don't know the ground, right? Then it must belong to. Mondo. Mondo, Mondo, doesn't it? Oh, fuck! Shoot! Oh, my hearts! Don't worry. It's Tira. I mean, that's it's Mondo's. <laughs> I think we gotta go with it's Mondo's again. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I got it. You know Chihiro's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? Oh, right. For a fact. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Yes. Well, that's what I was hoping. 
but it's busted. It won't even turn on. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. Uh-huh. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. They're not. You're right. They're not. Yeah? They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? I mean, yeah. How precisely did the handbooks get broken? How did the handbook break? There's only one possible explanation. By hitting its weak points. I got it! I got it! You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah! You remember that? Uh, uh, sure, maybe I let that slip, but I never told anyone what the weak point actually was. But if the handbook is supposed to never break, and two of them broke in quick succession, then... Then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? So, what is it? You're asking me? Is that allowed? I think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial. But if I tell you, and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Just tell us already! Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> Oh, well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer oh. a meltdown and totally break! Oh, no. I slip and knew Mondo. it! You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. Oh, I didn't know that. If the hot air yep. of the sauna That's why I love were somehow oh. pushed directly onto your skin, you definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. Ma 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 ma. So when you're in the sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Oh. Interesting. I learned one new fact today. That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Yeah, yeah, Makoto has the right face right now. Anyway, oh. if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna, then the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Does that Quite mean the Mondo's mystery. should be broken right now? What if they found out by accident? Uh huh. What do you mean by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. Uh huh. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but. Who would have done something like that? Um... I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. Um... I might know someone who did. Oh, we do know someone who did. Seriously? I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... Does this sound like someone? Oh, no, he knows! Shit. Who was it, man? It was Mondo! Here's my answer! Mondo, your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing me? No, him? you're bro, dude, you're bro. Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago, remember? And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. 
And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Oh. Uh. No, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. Oh, come You're on, Tata. Tata. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. It's a real bromance. Yeah, that's <laughs> brotherhood right there. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but but I found something that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. What are we playing? Oh, we're playing bullets again. And there's five! <laughs> Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Yup. Well, my goddamn handbook works just for. Does it now? No, that's wrong. Does it? Mondo. Mondo, the handbook you have right now, is it really yours? Oh shit. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? Oh fuck. What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. The baseballs didn't break it. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's. Wow. Which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's, yes? But doesn't that violate the school regulation that nope. says loaning out your handbook is prohibited? Well, here's how I look at it. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. Oh. It's kind of a great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such, I decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not the violation of the rules. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. Show your handbook, Mondo. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but... Son of a bitch! What's wrong, bro? C come on! Tell him he's wrong! Tell him- tell me I'm wrong! You are wrong! You have to be wrong! Everything you just said is wrong! You made it all up! Taka! Sheesh! Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time, from the beginning? What are we doing? That way, everything will become clear, and we'll all see if I was right or wrong. Are we? Yeah, you're about- Oh. You're at the end now. Oh, the humina humina. Oh, uh, let's see. Packing. Yep. What the fuck? Isn't this? <laughs> That's the glass crystal ball. She sees the blue track jacket. Oh. Yeah. Stop sit. Bye. Here goes to the boys' locker room. I think it's so annoying how they leave leftovers in here. There's so many. <laughs> Are we gonna put this in the episode? We we still got time. Okay, okay. What what is this? Working out? That? No. I'm wrong. Why don't you just figure out the future once first, then you can come back to the ones you know and fix? Yeah. Make it easier for yourself. Hi, hi, hello. Dumb bell. Uh, blood. Dead. Dead hero. 
carpet and poster. Uh, gir girls locker room. I feel I'm so wrong. These are these are the same panel. Different hands. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, they are. Uh... That's I hate this part. <laughs> On real quick. This guy? What did he have to gain from this? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> like, bro? If we if we once if we hit start in like two minutes, I'm gonna start helping. I don't care what people say at home. <laughs> so you're gonna wasted like four minutes. Uh. <laughs> She's so dumb. Oh. This scene. I'm not sure. That's, like that has to be irrelevant. I don't, I don't know. Dude. Just let me. Know. I'm only helping at the two minute mark. He already has the cord here. Let's, let's review, shall we? 11 fucking pages. Duffel bag, yep, blue. Gone, here, here, okay. Just because it makes sense. Uh. I hate how the crystal ball is still there. Scans in, obviously. There they are. Uh, going, working out, boom, bed. Drop it, put it there. Rolling up the carpet, getting the, the shit. Uh, take her, take his body. Uh, poster. Is that poster? I think so. Rolls up, carpet. Takes the poster, takes the body, puts up the poster, goes in. Oh, those are matching. Uh, <coughs> throws the crystal ball at the button. Girls' locker room. Uh, ties, ties. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> There. Let's. Shit. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the saunas. Are you gonna tell me if I got it wrong? <laughs> Not until like two minute mark. You can always try right now and see if you got it right. Here's exactly what happened. Right, as soon as I heard the permission. First, let's take a look back to before the incident. 
last night, Celeste saw Chihiro in the warehouse, correct? Yep. At the time, she was apparently stuffing something into a duffel bag. Yep. True, all right. We that went. something was a blue One tracks. down. You can confirm this, right, Celeste? Yep. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out, even though it was officially nighttime. Yep. She Get made it. her way to the yeah. locker room, specifically the boys' locker room. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access the boys' locker room? Yeah, that, that. Huh? Uh, cause it will. Huh? Yeah, you still have help until the set the two minute mark. You have. Yeah, cause legit, this is. All, I was looking at the time, it's just like it's half the episode. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. How could the boys locker room? Cause it's a boy! Yeah, 30 seconds. Is this the one I had in there initially? I already forgot. I can't say you have to remember. I, I got 10 seconds, fuck it. I need the help. <laughs> you want me to start helping you now? Or yeah, just do it right now, just do it right now. Uh, so put the in on the, on the bottom one. The bottom one, and then this? Get the scan. Nope. And then going in the boys. There you go. Thumbbell. That feels right. Yep. 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 Uh, that feels right. No. 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 Oh, death. Got it. There you go. Uh, dumbbell. Oh. Yeah. See, the that's the same dumbbell in that uh, picture right there. That's why. Oh. This. He took off. Yep. Poster. Then this. I feel like is right. Uh, where did why did he put it back up though? Where did he go to? Where, did, where the was the girls' locker room? Yeah, where's the where's the girls' locker room? Um, yeah, okay. you used the girls' locker room somewhere else. There it is. There you go. And then he put that shit up. Yes, there you go. We got a minute. <laughs> we, uh, got, we got this. This is right. Uh, no, that is not right. No, because this is, that's the same picture as the one on the next panel. Oh, board? There you go. Uh, yes, yeah, he's the same panel on the left. Uh, yeah, you got it. Anna, and then that. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Here's exactly what happened. 39. With bag in hand, Chihiro headed out. Even though it was officially nighttime. Yeah, I don't. I don't want you to re to she repeat this when the time the runs out. I don't yeah. want to do this over. It's just gonna waste more time. But how could the victim, who was apparently a girl, access, access the, the boys', boys locker, locker room? room? Simple, because she was really a he, which is why he was able to use his own e handbook to gain entrance to the boys' locker room. Yep. Once inside, he met with someone there. And the person he met was the one who killed him. Yup. It seems likely that the killer grabbed the nearby dumbbell, approached the unsuspecting Chihiro. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And attacked him. And that's where the blood stains on the poster and carpeting in the boys' locker room came from. It was likely in the heat of the moment. The body was arranged, but the murder itself felt unplanned. Uh huh. Which is why the killer hurried to try and hide the act. First, Pulling up the bloodstained carpet, then removing the bloody poster. Yep. And finally carrying the corpse into the girls' locker room. A girl's handbook was necessary to get into the locker room, of course. But this alone doesn't prove that the killer was necessarily a girl. Yeah. 
After all, Sayaka and Junko's handbooks had been placed in the main hall. Using one of those, a boy could get into the girls' locker room without much problem. And that's exactly how the killer did. With the carpet and the poster they brought with them, they got to work. They changed the layout of the boys' and girls' locker room in what you might call a crime scene switch. Yup. I'm so surprised, Mondo. That could have been the end. Hey, and like it, the best part, you wouldn't no. have expected it was going to be him. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the one detail he said the about the tracks. That's the biggest thing about this whole trial. Yeah, it fucking made him slip his tongue. Yep. Why, Yakuya? So, after stumbling on the crime scene, he went and grabbed the extension cord from the library. And then he got to work. He used the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. Then, using the victim's own blood, he left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to create the illusion that Genocide Jack was responsible for the slaughter. And around the same time that Byakuya was putting together this facade, the killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings, arrived at the sun. There, they planned to destroy the last piece of evidence, Chihiro's handbook. And just as the killer expected, the steamy sauna was enough to ruin the electronic gadget. Somehow, the killer knew that the handbook couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. Oh my and the God, reason then. they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. And that's how it all played out. Mondo. Isn't that right, Mondo Arata? Hey, he called him by his full name. <laughs> yep. Can you pause it right here? Let's see if you can save. Can you save? Oh, yeah. All right, if that's the case, let's finish up the closing part next time on Ashton. Okay. We'll see you guys next time for the closing and a new see chapter. Yes, sir.